Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. Got some Facebook pokes going out to Amanda, Sue, Little, and Julie Rigo. That's right, Amanda, Sue, and Julie Rigo. Happy Facebook poke anniversary. Poke poke poke. You poke to me. I'm a poking you back. Poke and tag. Yeah, me and Amanda, we play poke tag all day long. That's right. That's right. All right. Quite all right. Me and Amanda, a poke a tag. All right. Hey, uh, how about the uh, St. Charles weather forecast being brought to you today by Family First Home Health Care? That's fair. That's correct. Family First Home Health Care at FamilyFirstHomeHealthCare.com. That's right. Uh, that would be F A M I L Y Family First uh, One S T Home Healthcare H H C dot com. All right, and go on there and go to their website. Put in an application because they're looking for some. Caregivers, that's correct. That's what they're looking for. Go to it, go to it, go to it. All righty, hey, today's weather forecast. Um, um, it's 80 degrees outside today right now, and the sun is shining. So I am going to be out there shortly. That's why I'm doing this right away, and it's not going to be long. It's going to be a short one today, pretty much, folks. But anyway, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms, highs near 80 degrees Fahrenheit, winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chances of rain 50%. Variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms overnight, lows around 64 degrees Fahrenheit, winds are going to be southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chances of rain 50%. And then, Saturday, May 23rd, sunshine and clouds mixed up. Uh, with a few stray showers and or thunderstorms it is quite possible. Highs near 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south to southwest at 10 miles per hour. 5 to 10 miles per hour, that is. Partly cloudy during uh, skies uh, with a stray shower or thunderstorm possible overnight. Lows around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then, uh, scattered thunderstorms, variable clouds with thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon. Highs around 91 degrees Fahrenheit. This would be Sunday, May the 24th. Um, yeah, highs around 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 50%. A few clouds and stray showers, uh, or thunderstorms are quite possible overnight with lows near 30 I mean near 70 degrees Fahrenheit winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour and then Monday May 25th intervals of clouds and sunshine in the morning with more clouds for later in the day a stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible. Highs around 89 degrees Fahrenheit and winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Scattered thunderstorms, lows around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chances of rain 40%. And then, for your final five-day forecast day, Partly cloudy with high uh, afternoon showers or thunderstorms. Highs around 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south to southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain 40%. Variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. Lows around 69 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. With winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain 50%. And there you have it, your five-day forecast brought to you by Family First Home Health Care, LLC. Uh, Family First Home Health Care, LLC. Let's see if we can't uh, wake up. Wake up. Start notepad. Start notepad. Family first.
go to sleep. That's right, Family First Home Healthcare. Uh, phone number, that's what I was looking for, 636-734-9802. Alrighty, well, alrighty then. So there we go, Family First Home Healthcare, LLC. Alright, that's what I was looking for. Check that out, and try to get in your applications as soon as possible. Alrighty then, let's see, how about Wallace Resale bringing us something? Wallace Resale on Facebook. Go to Facebook, Wallace Resale, and check out their page hmm, so that you can purchase some items from them because, well, hey, they like to be purchased from, that's for sure. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Let's see, uh, what am I going to do today? Oh, yeah, that's right, I'm going to read. I'm going to go back to reading what I was reading yesterday, which uh, I'm going to... Whoa, whoa looky there. Team books and what was I classically reading? I was trying to read Tom Sawyer, uh, which I had started Tom Sawyer. Oh, no, that's Uncle Tom's Cabin. Nah, that ain't what I was looking for. Okay, where was it? How did I find that? How's about looking it up here? Search. Wake up. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Go to sleep. Photo print drawings, da da da, 1982. I just want to read it. <laughs> Electronic resource The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Loading. A loading. Da 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 do 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 da da dum dum dum. Print record? No, I don't want to print nothing. I just want to um. I just want to read it. Where'd it go? Cause I was on page eleven yesterday. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Find it. Electronic book. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Find it. Da da da. Record per pages showing. Title. 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 Yeah. Well. Whatever. Yeah, full text. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Whatever. I want to read it. I want to read it, okay? Ebook. This is not letting me read it, and it's not finding it fast. Full text, da da da. I don't know what this deal is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Items number. <sighs> Request. 
Why can't I? It's it's an electronic book. I mean, how difficult can it be? Okay, here, let's do it a different way. Press spacebar. Wake up. Press spacebar. Ebook. Select all. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer ebook. Yeah, okay, here it is. Let me see it. Go to sleep. Okay, whatever. Items availability. Call number. That's fine. Whatever. I want to read it now. And it won't let me read it now. Aren't I logged in? Whatever. All right. Well, I guess that's not going to work, folks. I am so sorry that that's not going to work for us. And, uh, well, uh, I'm, mm, I don't even know if I'm going to sing or anything. Am I going to sing? Uh, well, let's at least read something for the kids. Um, we're going to read a little something for the kids, and we're going to just do uh, Aesop's Fables again. Yeah, Aesop's Fables, whatever. <laughs> Oh, let's see. What are we going to read today? What Aesop fable are we going to read today? How about the two goats? Yeah, that works. Oh, we done the two goats yesterday. Blech. The crow in the pitcher. In a spell of dry weather, when the birds could find very little to drink, a thirsty crow found a pitcher of water, a little water in it, but... The pitcher was high and had a narrow neck. And no matter how hard he tried, the crow could not reach the water. The poor thing felt as if he might die of thirst. Then an idea came to him. Picking up a small pebble, he dropped them into the pitcher one by one. With each pebble, the water rose a little bit higher, until at last it was near enough uh, so that he could drink. So, in a pinch, a good use of our wits may help us out. Hey, now that one, nobody died. Nobody died in that one. Hey, I like that one. Sure enough, show sure enough. The Oak and the Reed. Oh, we already done the Oak and the Reed. The Owl and the Grasshopper. We done that one, too. The Plain Tree. We done that one. The Gnat and the Bull. Well, a gnat flew over the meadow with much buzzing for so small a creature and settled on the tip of one of the horns of a bull. After he had rested a short time, he made ready to fly away. 
But before he left, he begged the bull's pardon for having used his horn for a resting place. You must be very glad to have me go now, he said. It's all the same to me, replied the bull. I did not even know that you were there. We are often of greater importance in our own eye than in the eyes of our neighbors. The smaller the mind, the greater the conceit. And there you have it. There is our children's section of stories for today. Alrighty, uh, looks like there's one more thing to do today, which would be our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. And Our Daily Bread is um, brought to you by The Bible with Briscoe, which is a daily reading of The Briscoe to be read within one year. The Bible with Briscoe 2020. Daily reading of the Bible to be can read, it with, uh, read within one year. Today's coverage in the Bible with Briscoe is going to be First Chronicles 16 through 18 and John 7, 28 through 53. Alrighty then. Um, today's uh, uh, devotion for the Daily Bread is Take Your Tears to God. And so our... Um, Scripture for that would be Lamentations, 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 three forty nine through sixty six. My eyes will flow unceasingly without relief until the Lord looks down from heaven and sees. What I see brings grief to my soul because of all the women of my city. Those who were my enemies without cause hunted me like a bird. They tried to end my life in a pit and threw stones at me. The waters could over closed over my head and I thought I was about to perish. I called on your name, Lord, from the depths of the pit, and you heard my plea. Don't, do not close your ears to my cry for relief. You came near when I called you, and you said, Do not fear. Though you, Lord, took my case, and you redeemed my life. Lord, you have seen the wrong done to me, and uphold my cause. Uphold my cause. You have seen the depths of your of their vengeance, all their plots against me. Lord, you have heard their insults and their plots. Uh, you have, Lord, you have heard their insults and their plots against me. What my enemies whisper and mutter against me all day long. Look at them sitting or standing. They mock me in their st songs. Pay them back what they deserve, Lord, for what their hands have done. Put a veil over their hearts, and may your, may your curse be on them. Pursue them in anger and destroy them. For under the heavens the Lord, of the Lord... From under the heavens of the Lord. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see what we want to do with that. Wake up. Start notepad. Paste that. Alrighty, my friends, that looks like the go to sleep. Alrighty, my friends, that looks like the end of uh, the portion, our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread, which was brought to you by the Bible with Briscoe 2020. Alrighty, hey, and that also looks like the end of the Shin Show. Like I said, it was going to be quite short today. 
And anyway, it was. It was only like 20 minutes long, but that's okay. Anyway, the Shin Show is now complete, and so therefore I've got one more song for you, which would be, well, goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. Oh, I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' mighty name and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here and I hope that you are too.